Welcome to the Stomping Grounds. I am your host, Evan, here on Pub Stomp MTG, and in today's Commander game, this will be a battle with universes beyond with many different products that came out in 2023. Hailing from the Princess Bride franchise, we do have Princess Buttercup, known as Sisse Weatherlight Captain. This deck is chocked full of legendary creatures from the multiverse, and of course you can cheat them out with Buttercup's ability. And the next commander, hailing from Middle Earth, is Aragorn the Uniter. The goal of this deck is to cast a lot of different spells to get incidental value with Aragorn's abilities. However, hold on to your butts because we do have Dr. Ian Malcolm, otherwise known as Atla Palani Nest Tender. This deck takes Chaos Theory to the next level when you sacrifice an egg to put a bigger creature on the battlefield. And we will continue our stay in Jurassic Park, or should I say Jurassic World, with Owen Grady and Blue Loyal Raptor. This deck focuses on putting a bunch of counters on your dinosaurs to make them extra deadly and becoming the top apex predator on the battlefield. However, before we do start today's game, if you are interested in any of these cards that we do play today, make sure to use my TCG Player affiliate link down below in the description. Also, if you do want to support the channel even further, consider becoming a patron. There are some great benefits including giveaways, early access to videos, and can be featured in gameplay videos in the future. So make sure to use my Patreon link down below in the description so that you can check out the benefits and see which one's right for you. So with all that said, let's get into today's game. Great. Uh, I will start off by playing an island. I'll tap the island to play uh, the Ozolith and then pass. Wow. I will draw for turn. I will play a beautiful promenade untapped as I have two opponents and pass. I'll draw for turn. Ooh, unfortunate. I'll play a Mana Crypt, tap for a Felwar Stone. And then I will pass the turn. That's Arch enemy, that Arch enemy. Right there. Yeah, I don't even have a land. Arch enemy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, it's my turn. I will draw for turn. And I wish I could use my Vandal Blast right now. <laughs> oh gosh, no. <laughs> I'm just gonna be fair magic and play a Sun Petal Grove tapped. Okay. All you people with your oh. beginning of upkeep. I'll play a Carpuslin uh, Forest and then pass going the slow route, unlike somebody on the table. That's <laughs> Spencer. All right, go. I will draw. I will play a Exotic Orchard. Uh, and then I will tap a White and a Colorless and cast Hero of Precinct 1. Whenever I cast a multicolored spell, I create a 1 1 white human token, and it is a 2 2. Pass. Untap, upkeep, draw. God. No way. I will tap 2 and cast Nature's Lore. And I will get my forest the hard way, because F this. <laughs> Stomping ground, I'll shock that in, and I'll take 3. And then with the floating colorless from Mana Crypt and this, I will tap two and Sylvan Library. All right. And then I will pass the turn. Untap, draw. I'm going to play a mountain and pass. OK, uh, beginning up, keep I'll draw. I will play a Waterlog Grove. I will pay a total of. Uh, Three mana, and then I'll cast my commander, Owen, and pass. Alright, I will untap. I will draw. I will play a spectator seating untapped, as I have two opponents. And then I will green, red, and then I'll tap the exotic orchard for blue, and cast a tumor ascendancy. Uh, creatures I control have haste, and whenever a creature of power four or greater enters the battlefield, I may draw a card. And that is a multicolored spell, so I will make a 1-1 one, one white human token. And since Rhino over here is ramping out the wazoo, I will swing at you for two. <laughs> I'll take two. Uh, and then I will pass my turn. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, upkeep, trigger, I forgot. I got Sylvan Library, so I'm going to draw two extra. And I will take eight and keep them both. Jeez. 
Life is a resource. I guess so. I'm chipping away. I, my, I can't miss all my land drops this entire game. I have to have one. <laughs> That's right. So, and then I will tap one, two, three, four, and five. I assume, okay, yeah, Devin has Waterlog Grove, so this will be for green, this will be for red, this will be for white. I'll take a damage. And then I will cast my commander. All right. And float, have a colorless floating that I can't do anything with, so I'll lose it. And I'll pass the turn. Uh, I'm going to play a Rock Ball Veil. Comes in untapped because I have two other lands. And I'm going to finally get to ramping myself and play Chromatic Ninja. That sucks to be mana screwed. Uh, so I will just pay a colorless to play Dino DNA. Nice. And so after that, I will swing Owen over at. Let's go to Zand. Why would you do this? Uh, just spreading the love, you know. He's a uh, three-two. Yeah, three-two. Yeah. Okay. And it's commander damage. Da -da -da -da. Yep. All right. Already marked his commander damage. And after that, I'll pass because I don't have anything I can do. All right. I will untap. I will draw. I will play a Minimo School at Water's Edge. I will tap green, red, or sorry, uh, green, white, and blue to cast Aragorn. On the cast, I make a second 1 1 human. Um, and Aragorn will enter the battlefield. And I will draw a card as he has power four or greater. Um, and since Aragorn also has haste, I will swing Aragorn at uh, you, Devin. And Zand, I will swing my 2 2 Hero of Precinct 1 at you. Uh, and I will pass my turn. Untap, upkeep, upkeep, trigger, mana crypt. Don't forget it. Odds I'm safe. Uh, draw for turn. Draw two extra for. Sylvan Library will full send, and I'll take eight. Dang. Oh my god. Dude. <laughs> and then I, in my main phase, I will play Land for Turn, Battlefield Forge. Then I will tap two, and then tap my commander to make an egg. And then I'll tap one, two, Altar of Dementia, then sack the egg. Uh, and it has zero power, so no one mills. But when I sack it, it will trigger Atla, who is tapped. And then I will flip for a creature. Oh my what? gosh. You lost. You lost. Oh goodness. Dear God. <laughs> and those go on the bottom. At least it doesn't have haste. And then I will tap two colorless so I don't haste. take any damage. <laughs> and lightning greaves. Oh no! <laughs> no! Oh, in response to your lightning greaves, I'm actually going to fierce guardianship that. <laughs> Dang it. <laughs> yes! <laughs> we can survive oh, one more round. So <laughs> close. Uh, well, that's all I got. I'll pass the turn after that. Well, the bad news is that I uh, have 15 H like life left because I've just done 25 damage to myself or 23. Good news is you have a Phyrexian on the board that could uh, kill somebody. <laughs> that is true. So I'm gonna play Gimli, <laughs> the Glittering Caves. Uh, I'm gonna play my land for turn to Shire because I can throw a legendary creature. It comes in untapped, and then I'll tap for two and play Adric Mathematical Genius and Gimli will get a plus one plus one counter. That's that's all I'm doing. I ain't doing nearly as much as some people. Just saying. Uh, this happened to work out real well. Devin ruined my beautiful plan. What? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> huh. I wouldn't say ruin. Uh, it's almost like he wants to win as well. <sighs> Let's see what I can do. Uh, I'm going to pay... Two mana, uh, no, two life to shock and a breed, uh, uh, steam vents. I'm trying to think what I want to do here, because, like, honestly, I don't know what we're going <laughs> to <laughs> So, uh, let's do some politics. I can deal with the Blightsteel. 
Okay. Lame. Uh, in, in return, I would like Aragorn to not die. Okay, I wouldn't. I, I'm not going to kill Aragorn anyways. Like, are you talking about for the rest of the game, or are you talking about just like... Okay, yeah. I can, because I can get rid of the Blight Steel temporarily. I can't permanently remove it. Okay. Uh, with that said, I'm just going to play Blue Loyal Raptor and uh, take one life. And then after that, pass. All right. I will untap and draw. As much as this is going to hurt me to do it, I'll play a Menace Pierce. And then I will tap Minimo and uh, Minas Tirith, and I'll single target um, the Blight Steel with a Cyclonic Rift. A single target? Nah, fooey. I mean, temporarily, but it's a le- it's what, 12 mana? 12, 12 mana, mana, that's permanent. Uh, <laughs> yeah, potentially. Dang. I had to do something about it. There's no, no yeah, way seriously, yeah, no, I, thank you. Uh. <laughs> I understand. Uh, white and two more colorless and cast Boomir, Warden of the Tower. Um, and on the cast, uh, since he's a white spell, I'll make another 1-1. One, one. Uh, and since you literally just revealed the Blight Seal, I'm going to swing Aragorn for 5 at you. I'll take 5. And after that, I will pass. I missed my land drop again. Oh, wait. I get to draw two more because... Don't forget. And did you roll for mana crypt? Roll yeah. for mana crypt, yep. One, yay. Draw two extra, and I will not put the I will not <laughs> take any more damage. Dang it. I already full sent it and now it's biting me in the ass. Alrighty. So first off, I will tap Atla and make an egg. And then I will sacrifice that egg with Altar of Dementia. So we're gonna do this again. How much creatures do you have in there? Just like one creature to get blight still out or something? No, I have six creatures. <laughs> oh. oh my gosh. Okay, there we go. Hazelek, the Butcher of Truth. No haste. All right, the rest of these go on the bottom. No, you're not making a case for yourself for not being a threat. <laughs> what? I don't even have haste. There's nothing that could possibly give me haste. <laughs> I'm going to tap two and cast Swiftfoot Boots. Oh my god. <laughs> um, I will Fierce Guardianship that. <laughs> Dude, what's with the fierce guardianships? I'm sick of this. <laughs> We're using them all on you. <laughs> Let me have some fun. Now that I've been spoiled again, I will pass the turn. Man, you sound like a Scooby Doo villain. <laughs> like, I, I can't but let that happen. Is, yeah, so there's not as much I'm able to do. I'm just gonna go ahead and tap three for. I'm just gonna go Mary Warden of Isengard. Alright. Hey, I know that card. Right. Uh, get another plus one, plus one counter on Gimli. And, yeah, I will pass with some mana open. Uh, in response, I'm going to tap Owen to give uh, Blue a uh, haste counter. Yep. In come the scary dinosaurs. It's fine. Okay. And so I will untap, upkeep, I will draw. All right. So let's see if I can do anything spicy. Um... I will tap Owen to give Blue a uh, Menace counter, and I will also play a Jeweled Lotus. Oh god. I mean, I already have my commanders out on the battlefield. I, I know, yeah, it's just gonna help later on. It actually will, because I'm gonna pay four, uh, take two damage, and I will play uh, Natural Order on Owen. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Owen will go back to the command zone. I'm going to put Curious Altasaur on the battlefield. It also does have Menace and Haste. Yep. So again, I wasn't going for anything crazy. I just wanted to get some more card draw. <laughs> the dino engine has been assembled. Yes. I'll swing over at... Yeah, no, it just looks like it's just... A... I want to get some card draw, but I can't. But I don't want to, like, have the full wrath of a Kozlik coming over towards me. But... I'm just going to have a Curious Altasaur go to Spencer. I'm not going to deal so much damage to you, so that you can think about it later. <laughs> I honestly don't even know what that thing does. What does it say? Uh, it has Vigilance, Reach, Menace, and Haste. Uh, whenever a dinosaur you control deals combat damage to a player, you draw a card. Alright, I'll take two. Is okay. it a 2-5? Yeah, it's a 2-5. And I'll draw, and after that, I will pass. Alright, I will untap and hope for a very spicy draw. And then I will tap green, white, blue, red, and the Minas Tirith for five mana. 
and I'll cast True Lane Teller of Tales. So on the cast, I will make a white human. I'll make two of them actually, so I go to five one ones. Um, I also get to scry two. I will keep one on the top and put one on the bottom. Actually, keep both on the top in that order. Um, what's the other trigger? Then oh, Aragorn will get plus four plus four until end of turn. Uh, he's also not super strong two lane, so that doesn't trigger two more ascendancy. I will swing my nine nine Aragorn over at you, Devon. I'll take the nine. Nine All right. damage to Untap, upkeep trigger, mana crypt, odds I'm safe. One, yes, thank you, mana crypt. Draw for a turn, draw two more for a Sylvan Library. Wow, these are real nice cards that I'm going to put back. Keep, keep them both. <laughs> keep them, keep them. <laughs> and then uh, main phase one, I will play a mountain and my commander to make an egg. Actually, I'm not going <laughs> to sacrifice it immediately this time. All right, so then I will move to combat. Before you go to combat. No. Is okay. that coming my way? No, it's going to Devin because he's been ruining my fun. Okay, I, so I only did this one time. time. <laughs> I did, the other, who else? Who else did that? Have the fierce guardian ship? Not me. No, I. Yeah, the so lightning beams is better than Swift Foot Boots. So. Plus, I would have already killed someone, and then I would have had Lightning Greaves on my Blightsteel, so I probably would have already won. So That's fair. <laughs> Plus, um, you have the most permanence, it looks like. No, uh, World Only does, because he has all the those uh, human uh, soldier tokens. Uh oh, oh nope. has, I, I, I don't didn't even notice those. Yeah, he's got yeah. five humans. Well, that makes I, it kind of worthless, because then he'll just get rid of a bunch of humans. But that's better than him pumping the humans. That's true, he probably is going to pump them, huh? No, I have no way to pump the humans. Yet. No, is Aragorn, can't he pump them? Yeah, he can. He only can okay. pump a single, he can only pump a single thing. And it's better to just pump him. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Alright, well Zand, I'm definitely not attacking you. I'm torn between the other two over okay. here. Which one of these guys are a little then, worse? Then I will pass priority. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> now, now that I've noticed, I I feel like you can do too many shenanigans with the five humans, so I'm just gonna swing at you. Uh, I will four sack more. four of them to the annihilator trigger. Yep. Go down to one. Oh, all right. I'll just single block with my other human. Cool. All right, and then I will main phase two. I will tap for colorless red. And I will play scroll rack, and then I will pass the turn. Alright, I will go ahead and untap and I'll draw for turn. Okay. That's not card draw either. Um I'm just gonna go ahead and pay three for I'm gonna play my own Boromir. So we hey! Nice. I can't cast free stuff. Dang it. Yeah, that's all I got for now. I'm okay. gonna pass the turn holding some mana. I will draw. I'll play a Scalding Katarn and uh, crack it to find a land. And I found a breeding pool. It took forever to find it. And I'll shock it in. There he is. Dude, how are me and Devin just getting whooped so much? How are you so dead, Devin? <laughs> you know, I've been asking that myself a lot. <laughs> Oh, it's because Aragorn's been kicking you in the butt. Yeah, that's how. Yeah. It's, he only has 14 commander damage. Holy only. Crap. I could do a pretty cool play, but do you guys want to see it? That's the thing. Depends on if who's I... targeting me. If it's targeting me, I do not want to see um, it. Um, <laughs> I think whoever has the most commander damage at me, I'm going to be targeting. I don't want to see this uh, yeah. play. <laughs> No, I want to see it. Yes. Yeah, I don't. I don't. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm gonna pay four green, and I'm going to uh, Savage Order uh, my Curious Altasaur. Uh oh. Oh jeez. Uh oh. That's the new one where you can just put yep. all your creatures in. <laughs> yep. Yep. Oh boy. It is. All right, and, and so all, all I have. have I just have three, they but. All have so that's a triggered ability, right? Yeah, that's a enter the battlefield ability. 
So I'm gonna tap a blue and one other and sacrifice Adric to counter the no! trigger. Ability. Oh my god! <laughs> my Galta! Remind me, remember this, and my, please don't kill me. <laughs> my Galta! The favor I did for the yes. table. You forever hold a special place in my heart. It was you guys just that. hate Big Timmy plays, what the heck? <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll pay one to pl uh, play a soul ring, I guess. <laughs> uh, um... Adric has got to be one of my favorite cards. I'm going to have to uh, um, then pass. I will untap and draw. Wow, it's like I almost knew what this card was. Uh, I think I just try and get a little ahead here. A little bit. Or do I do that? No, I know what the next card is. Yeah, I think I just get ahead here. Uh, green, white, Blue and red, not that those colors matter in any order. I'll cast the Ringo Self. <laughs> oh, nice. The ring tempts me, and uh, Aragorn will be my ring bearer. He is legendary and cannot be blocked by creatures of power five or greater. So, Poslik, watch out. Um, <laughs> and then I will reveal for three lands, since I have three legendary creatures. Injaro, Seed of the Empire, a Mountain, and a Rejuvenating Springs. They all enter tapped. And on the cast of that, Aragorn will get plus four, plus four again, making him nine power. Zand, alright, so I know I want to kill you with Aragorn, but I also cannot swing at the other two without killing them. Well, I guess, I guess it puts Devin in a rough spot because he has to block with blue. Yeah. Yeah, because Galta can't block, and I, if I... I'm like, I just did you all a favor. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I think I have to put Devin in a rough spot. Yeah, I'll have to block with blue. I think that I have to do it. There's no way. I will put those uh, menace and haste counters on uh, the pillars of the king. Yep. Um, I have no other triggers, and I will uh, pass my turn. All right. On your end step, I will pay one and tap scroll rack. I'm going to put some cards on top of my library. Hmm, I what wonder. What cards? I don't know. Yes, we'll see. I'm going to put these three, or exile these three, and then what? I draw three. Put that many cards from the top of your library into your hand. Okay, so yeah, so I'm going to put three into my hand. And I'll put these on top of my library in any order. And then still in the end step, I will sacrifice my egg and put Blight Steel back on the battlefield. Oh, jeez. <laughs> and yeah. then it will be my turn. So untap, keep, drop a turn. I will play Bloodstained Mire. I also have a Mana Crypt trigger, and I was not going to forget that. Odds I'm safe. Son of a gun, two. So I'm down to five, eight, five life. All right. Oh, yeah, I get to draw two as well for Sylvan Library, just to see what they are. And then I will put those back because I'm not going to be insane. I'm uh, could have drawn one. I could have and then died to Devin's oh wait his creature's gone that has menace. Uh, Galta has menace. Now Galta has menace yeah. Uh, well then I would be in trouble. Galta has only has haste <laughs> menace trample. I will tap two and my commander to make another egg. Oh no what's going on? <laughs> <laughs> and then I will, let's see, who's scary? I mean, I have pretty low life. Everybody else has like 40 and 35, so. I, I have a walking four lands still. Four lands. Hmm. I think I will move to combat and I will swing. Well, you both have Boromir, so you can just give yourself indestructible if you want to. That we can. I guess I just have to. I'm just gonna swing Kozilek over at. I say, I'm gonna say lonely. you war lonely. Sorry, I apologize, but I gotta come at you. I think you're the biggest threat out of All the right. three. Um, I will sack hero of precinct one, a mountain, uh, uh, Injaro seated the empire, and uh, another mountain. I'll lose the three lands that I just gained. All right, and then are you chumping? I assume. Yeah, I will, uh, I will block with, uh, I guess, Boromir. 
Oh no, I guess I'll block with Chulane and sack Bohemir. Give him indestructible, and the ring tempts me. So, Aragorn will be at step two. Hey, you can loot. Cool, cool. Alrighty. Um, and then I will pass the turn from there. I've been hit with this Annihilator trigger. <laughs> Voice now. <laughs> I will play a Smoldering Marsh because yay! Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and play Pippin, and then yeah, I will I will pass with uh, Mana Open. Okay, uh, beginning upkeep, I will draw. Uh, I will pay two to play a uh, Party Tree, or should I say uh, the Grey Henge for two mana because of Galta. I'll pay two green to play Galta Primal Hunger. Good. Nice. Enters the battlefield, I'll draw a card and also put a woman counter on it. And I will pay one green. Sh uh, I'm killing myself with all these lands. Uh, to play a Birds of Paradise, put a woman counter on it, draw a card. I guess I could recast blue. Um, well, let's see, five, seven. Yep, I could recast blue and sacrifice the Jeweled Lotus uh, and tap the Soul Ring. And so I'll put blue back on the battlefield. And at the beginning of my combat, I will put a Menace and Haste counter on blue. Oh, also, I forgot to draw a card off of blue, too, so... Yeah, and after that, I will... Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just pass there. Alright, I will untap and draw. Play an island for turn. Um, I will then pay blue, blue, uh, and these for five mana. I'll cast a Wandering Archaic. Um, on the cast, I have no trigger off of Aragorn, but I do have a two lane trigger. Uh, I will um, draw a card. Oh, you, that's cast triggers, you said? Yes, on cast trigger. Okay. Well, when it's still on the uh, stack, I have a response after. Do your triggers happen first? I mean, even if you were to counter it, the cast trigger still happens. Okay, so that's the cast trigger's on the stack right now, then. I, yes. I don't care about the cast trigger, I'm just trying to figure out. I'm just going to cast Reprieve and bounce it back to your hand. So you still get the cast triggers, I, that's no concern. Yep. Alright, so I will draw a card and then I can put a land from my hand in the play, which I did not get. And then yep. it will get bounce. Or, and then I'll draw a card for Reprieve. Sorry, go ahead. Yep. And this will get bounced to my hand before I have an ETB trigger. You have a blight steel and an egg. But most importantly, yeah. an egg. <laughs> <laughs> the egg. My question is: Is Kozlik or blight steel coming at me? Mm. <laughs> I would say you've been pretty uh, subdued, so no. This next turn, they will not be coming towards you. All right, I will. All right, and then on your end step, I will sacrifice my egg. Ooh, a void winnower. <laughs> and then still in your end step, I'm going to tap one with scroll, scroll rack, and I will three into exile. And then I will put three into my hand, and then I will put these three back on top in this order. And then move to my turn. So untap. Upkeep. Roll for Mana Crypt. Please. Odds, I'm Please, safe. Please, Herodon. No! I take three. <laughs> yes, go to two! I mean, <laughs> this kind of puts him in like a wounded dog situation where he's gonna kill everybody now. <laughs> Me and you in this turn. I will play my land for turn and tap one, two, three, four, five. Oh, oh wait, yeah. that's shot. This is a fetch land. Damn yeah, it. Fetch land. <laughs> Should I full send it and go down to one? No. And these are just going to be for colorless. <laughs> so, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then I will t also... This is probably not the best move, but it sounds kind of fun. And this will be nine... Oh, wait, I don't need to. Actually, I lied. City on fires for eight mana. Holy... And that will be triple damage. So, Xan, do you have priority? Uh, you don't have anything for that. I mean, I know Xan probably doesn't, but I don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I will I will pass priority. That's an enchantment, right? Yeah. Yep, okay. Do you have anything, Devin? Nope. And uh, I will swing. Before you move to combat. Oh, great. Here we go. I'm going to pay one white <laughs> and then kick with two white, and, or with a white and two other. 
Target player's creatures phase out. Alrighty. Oh well, my there we god. Go. Pass the turn. So who's right. phased out? Uh, all my creatures. Oh, it's just all your yep. creatures. All right. Yep. So we can cast up of even mana value right now. Yes, we can cast up of even mana value. Yeah. Yep. All right. Now we go to my turn. I'll draw for turn. I'm gonna play a Path of Ancestry tapped. Uh, I'm gonna play a Commissar Serena Rain. Yeah, that's good. And then I will move to combat. And you know, I am not gonna attack. Beginning of upkeep. I will draw for turn. Ooh, nice. I will put this mountain on the battlefield. Pay a green and gain two life off of uh, the Great Henge uh, to have two green mana floating in the air. Play Utopia Sprawl attached to Breeding Pool. Uh, let's see. And I have one green mana floating in the air. I will pay three, uh, four total mana to play uh, Greater Good. Actually, I'll, I'll use a uh, yeah, I'll use those man that mana right there uh, for greater good. All right, I will ask Zan. Do you think that greater good will be a problem? Um, because I Rhino will might die to himself. So <laughs> that's fair. Yeah, he's got a lot. That's a lot of card draw with. Yeah, Lord. that's what I was thinking too. And I only have like one turn at the moment to use this Dovin's veto. Yeah. Before Void Winner comes back. Oh, yeah. I get it. I understand if you're going to counter it. Yeah, I, I will. Just so I can get my cast triggers back as well. Well, you activated my trap card. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm going to pay a total of 7 mana. And I'm going to cast, for its overload cost, Spectacular Showdown. Okay. That's fine. Aragorn of Double Strike. All right. Yeah, but everything's goaded on the battlefield now. Yep. All right. And with that, I'll sit tight, uh, tight and pass. All right. I will untap and draw for turn. Um, I will tap one, two, three, four, five to recast the Wandering Archaic. On the cast, no cast trigger off of Aragorn, two lane. I will draw a card. Uh, I have no lands. Um, and then if the Wandering Archaic ETBs, I will draw a card. Alright, I will draw. All of my creatures except Wandering Archaic are goaded. And have Double Strike. <laughs> yep. You can finish off, uh, Spencer with the 1-1. One, one. Where do we want to leave it to chance? I'm just kidding. <laughs> not, no, not, not uh, with the amount of firepower. Oh, yeah. firepower. oh my god, right, he is... If you don't yeah, kill me with your 1-1, one, one, I won't target you on your my, on my next turn. I won't swing <laughs> at you. <laughs> okay. I just want to do damage to somebody. Please, just that, once. That, that is a gamble I'm willing to take. I'm willing to take that deal. Yay! So that means you're swinging all your creatures besides Wandering Archaic over at Zand. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Um, <laughs> the creatures aren't coming at me. You, you have some nice uh, arrow you have. It would be a shame if something were to happen to me. Yeah. Yeah. Don't fall for his yeah. tricks. He's bluffing. <laughs> He's bluffing. <laughs> Alright, well like first I'm gonna I'm gonna pay two, tap Exotic Orchard for a green, and then steer for a white, and I'll cast Nature's Lore. I'm gonna go find a Shockland. Which one do I need? It's the question. I'm afraid. I will go find a Sacred Foundry and ping myself for two for the first damage I take in this game. And that, so that will be untapped, and then on the cast of Nature's Lore, Aragorn will get plus four, plus four. So he is a nine-nine of double strike. Um, yeah, I can't... I'm not gonna swing the Aragorn at Rhino, because there's no point, so I have to kind of swing at Yuzand, because I can't even swing it. Nope, over at Devon because I'm goaded. Um, so Aragorn is going to come at you. Um, so is Tulane, and so is my 1-1, one, one, because they all have to. You can't throw any of them at the... I've made a deal with Rhino, because he's not going to attack me with his creatures on his next turn, so I'm not worried about killing him. 
Plus, he might die anyways. And what is Tulane? Tulane is a 2-4 Vigilance double strike. Um, Aragorn is a 9-9 double strike, and my Human Soldier is a 1-1 double strike. Um, on the attack trigger, since my Aragorn is my ring bearer, I have to draw a card, then discard a card. Mm -hmm. I will discard this Tumor Charm. Um, and you just can't block Aragorn if a creature with power 9 or greater. That was all. Flash in Mithril Coat onto a Gimli. <laughs> yep. Um, um, that makes a... Uh, Mary will see that and make a 1-1 Soldier with Cycling. Uh, I think I'll tap for 1 white and I will attempt to pass to Exile Gimli. Well, that's just rude. On the cast, I make a tap, untapped 1-1 one, one soldier. Uh, yep. So that's right, a land so for me? One. Yes, you go find a basic land tapped. I'm okay with that. Yeah, see, I'm helping you. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep, you have a 9-9 nine, nine double strike, a 2-4 vigilance double strike, and a 1-1 one, one double strike. I will block the 2-4 with Pippin. Uh, who's a 2 2 double strike? And Mario will block the 1 1. And then. That's not matter. So the soldier will block Aragorn. The 1 1 lifelink soldier. And yep. then I'm gonna sack uh, Boromir to make my stuff indestructible. Yep. Alright. So I lose my 1 1. And then, what? Uh, Pippin and. One of them, trade. Pippin kills Tulane because he does four damage. I lose my soldier and Tulane, and Aragorn is fine. Aragorn is fine, and he just takes one, and I gain one. And then my tap soldier's dead, so that one's back. No, Gimli, why? Alright, um, that ends my turn, and I will pass. Alright. On tap. Right, Let's everybody. see, ladies and gentlemen. Please. Please. <laughs> Am I going to die? Five! No. I live! Yes! No. <laughs> Yay! Alright, draw for turn. I am terrified. I will play a mountain. War, I said I wouldn't attack yeah, you. So, yep. Devin and Zand, what are the CMCs of your creatures? Uh, oh, yeah, you can attack them. Yeah. Um. Three. I think everything is uh, even CMC. <laughs> so you can't block. No, I can't block. Anything. Wait, isn't Galta 13-13 uh, because of the counter? But it's converted mana cost. Yeah, it's CMC. Yeah, okay. Uh, I have two threes. And a two zero. Threes. Zero counts as even, so you can't block with that. Okay. But two threes, that sucks. All right. Well, Devin can't block. I'm already dead, I know. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure I don't overextend and then just get instantly killed by war next turn. Hmm. I do have triple damage. Triple infect. Gross. All right. Well, I'm going to send... Does anything have menace? Can Aragorn get menace? Uh, I don't card in the stack that gives Aragorn menace. Okay. I will swing 11 over at Devin. Since since you can't block, and that'll be tripled, so that'll be 33 damage. And then I will send Kozilek and Blightsteel over at you, Zand. You have yeah. two three, th three CMCs that you can block with. Uh, first, we have the four Annihilator triggers. So doesn't Blightsteel deal triple the infect anyway? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's there's nothing I can do about that. 33 poison counters. <laughs> yeah, like... <laughs> it's only a little excessive. <laughs> Alright. Then you'll both be dead. Yep. Oh man, please. Uh, if I die to Mana Crypt on my next turn, I'm going to be so depressed, dude. It's going to be insane. All right, then I will pass the turn. All right, where I will untap. You know, it's funny that our combined life total makes 40. 
I Honestly, draw. You just have to cast a spell with red in it. Oh. Oh shoot. Well, you, yeah, uh, you I think just I just bolt me. <laughs> See, the thing is, I just drew it. That's the lamest. It's on cast too. <laughs> so I can't even stop it's it. On cast. <laughs> the, no. The best part is, it's an impact tremors. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I don't want to kill you that way. <laughs> That's so depressing. You're just playing with your food. <laughs> I couldn't play with my food. There's no way I could kill Exotic him. Exotic Orchard well. and two blue. So unless you can counter this, this is game itself. A Chroma's Will. Oh, yeah. I yeah, can right. counter it. I have Tybalt's Trickery. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Well, on the cast, I make a 1-1. One, one. Dang it with oh. Tybalt. Oh, and then hold on. Yeah, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Do you so, want to pay the extra two for the Tybalt's Trickery so I can't counter your Tybalt's Trickery? Oh, yes. I will do that. I have plenty of mana. <laughs> All right. And so, uh, yeah, I have to choose a number one, two, or three at random? Um, yeah, choose one, two, or three at random. And uh, then you we'll mill do. that amount. Yep. All right, I will... Uh, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, in that yep. order. Sounds good. Three, so I'll mill two. One, two, Aragorn, Hornbird, Well, Hero. I guess it's a red source. <laughs> yep, it is. Oh, gosh. Oh, that was great. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, that so on is... cast, Aragorn kills you. Well, looks like Aragorn wins. I hate this game. Congratulations to Aragorn the Uniter for taking the win today. This game was just full of mayhem, especially when Spencer had all the Eldrazi on the battlefield with that Blightsteel Colossus, but Aragorn was able to sneak in a win with that ability to deal 3 damage to Spencer. So again, a big congratulations to Aragorn the Uniter for taking the win today. So hopefully you all enjoyed this game tonight. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And with that out of the way, thank you for stomping by.